Zechariah chapter 2 is very prophetic as Zechariah has this amazing encounter. L listen to what it says. It says, Then I raised my eyes and looked, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. There's, there's an angel or someone who's measuring, and he says, he says, where are you going? And he said to me, I, I'm going to measure Jerusalem to see what its width and what its length is. And the reason he's measuring it as you read on is because he is going to see how large the city is because it's going to be, well, overwhelmed with people. And at this time, during the time of Zechariah, it certainly was not. So it's a prophecy about the future that, that God is going to fill Jerusalem and it'll be a city without walls. It won't need to be protected because it says, for I say the Lord will be a wall of fire around her and I will be the glory in her midst. And this goes on and on talking about how God loves Israel, Jerusalem, and how one day he'll reign there. Listen to what it says. I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Many nations will be joined to the Lord in that day, and they shall become my people, and I will dwell in your midst. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you, and the Lord will take possession of Judah as his inheritance in the Holy Land and will again choose Jerusalem. Now, I want to stop here and say this. Nowhere else in the Bible does the scripture or does the Lord use this term for Israel other than right here the holy land. He's talking not about the people, he's talking about the land itself. And God not only loves the people of Israel, and he loves all people, but he chose them in a very significant, specific way, not because they're better, not because they're more holy, but he needed a people. And he chose the people of Israel. And he also chose this land. It's a holy land. And he doesn't say that anywhere else in the Bible, and he doesn't say that about any other nation. This is a property, a piece of land, that to the Lord is holy. He says, Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for he is aroused from his holy habitation. God is going to establish a kingdom one day here on earth, and it's going to be in the holy land of Israel. And this is a prophesy by Zechariah as he sees God measuring and preparing the world for this time. When is it going to happen? We don't know. But one thing we do know, he's coming back to a holy people, all people who know him, and to a holy land because he is a holy God. Mm -hmm.